In the wake of the Texas massacre, a bipartisan effort has emerged on Capitol Hill to try to make it mandatory for the military to report all domestic violence charges to that database that's used for background checks before people can buy guns. Let's go to Suzanne Melville on Capitol Hill for the very latest on this. Suzanne. Hey, good morning, John and Poppy. It is unusual that there is something that's taking place here on Capitol Hill that they're actually moving forward. But yes, there is bipartisan legislation that they're being introduced now. Senator Jeff Flake, that Republican, outspoken Trump critic, along with his counterpart, Democratic Senator Martin Heinrich. The idea behind the legislation is to require the military to report misdemeanor domestic violence convictions to that federal database that is used uh, to determine a background check, whether or not a person can actually own or purchase a firearm. In, the, in this case, the Texas shooter who had been convicted of domestic violence for the assault against his wife and his child, uh, the Air Force failed and has acknowledged they failed to pass, relay that information onto that critical database. That is the loophole that he was able to use to purchase uh, that deadly weapon. Now, this is just a small step, but the senators believe that it could be a significant one. Uh, we were looking at specifically something that, had it been followed, uh, this person would not have been able to obtain a firearm. And so we are fixing uh, the problem here. This is clearly a loophole that is a problem, and we wanted to move forward and send the message that, uh, that folks on both sides of the aisle can come to some agreement on some common sense measures that would make a material difference. And there's some other senators as well who are looking at common sense measures that they believe that perhaps they can get some small things done. Senator John Cornyn, Republican whip, is looking at two different pieces of legislation that will incentivize the states and other entities to provide more information into that background database. John Poppy. Suzanne, thank you very much for the reporting. We will, of course, follow that. Democratic